Chicago public school employees failed to take action when a high school student was being sexually abused. At least that's according to a lawsuit just filed involving a former Dunbar High School security guard currently locked up for sexual assault. Our Tara Molina is always investigating and has more from outside the school. This lawsuit claims the security guard would take the student he's pleaded guilty to assaulting out of class consistently and other school employees never reported it. We want to warn you the details in this case may be disturbing. According to this lawsuit, it all started back in 2021 inside this school with a then quote 15 year old sophomore at Dunbar and 29 year old security guard Tywayne Carter who pleaded guilty to assaulting the student and abusing another Dunbar Vocational Career Academy student at the same time. The 15 year old is referred to as John Doe in the lawsuit filed against Chicago schools. According to the lawsuit, Carter would take him out of class almost daily where the lawsuit details graphic sexual assault. The meetings would last for more than 10 to 15 minutes at a time. The suit claiming school employees failed to report those removals from class with six Dunbar staff members named here, alleging they knew Carter's conduct violated CPS policies, but ignored it. CPS staff and teachers were specifically trained to spot this very scenario. These attorneys say more safeguards need to be in place to prevent this. How about a common sense policy and procedure where if you're taking somebody out of class, how about there's a log? John Doe, not comfortable doing interviews, instead sharing this statement, quote, the security guard told me I needed protection and that he would act as my secret service agent at Dunbar. He threatened me and said if I told anyone about the sexual assault and abuse, he would go to jail and I would lose my protection. A spokesperson for CPS responded to my request saying they can't comment on pending litigation, but of course student safety is their top priority. You can read that full statement and the story that's up on our website right now. Reporting outside Dunbar High School, I'm Tara Molina, CBS News Chicago.